Well, good morning, viewers, and welcome back to my channel, Mixed Mazda Valleys. Um, it's been a couple of weeks now since I did a bit of an update, and um, I thought I'd like to share this one with you today. This is Prince de Gaulle, de Galli. Um, I've checked all my uh, books I've got on it, and I can't find it anywhere. So if there's a viewer out there who can give me a bit more information on this, I really would appreciate it. It's a good three or four inches from top of the spur to the end of the spur. Um, it's certainly got Vitriana in it. I don't know if it's going to pick up the the colour of the red. I'm not sure. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you today. And what I want to talk about today is um, shading. I get a lot of people asking me... Um, about my shading in this greenhouse well as you can see i've got shading on the roof and if i look through the side there somewhere you can see it's quite dark on the sides that's because i've had um, a screen up for the last two years now i'm going to change things around a bit in here um you can see down that end it's still covered in and it gets lighter towards the top i'm now going to change the um shading and i'm going to talk a little bit about shading today because a lot of people um that i know are getting shading from ebay and they're telling me what they bought and when i look actually what you've bought is not shading what you've bought is um debris netting what goes on construction sites usually on scaffolding to prevent any materials falling off there's no uv protection with that um, i know it says 50 percent I've got a few samples I'm going to show you anyway I'm going to show you what I use and um, we'll get cracking but yeah I thought I'd share that with you today only one bloom on it but truly amazing it really is so if you do know what um, hybrid it is or what cross it is I know it's got Vitriano in it please let me know Prince de Galli or Prince de Gal as people like to call it I'd just like to say as well, I'd like to welcome all the new uh, subscribers to the channel. Since the last video, I've got about um, 60 new subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're an existing viewer, welcome back. And for the new people who've just joined, what the channel is all about is, in truth, Mazda Valia Orchids. Um, I've got a collection of about 300 Mazda Valias in here now. I have a few Draculas, um, a few other cold, cold growers. Um, yeah, so welcome to the channel. Um, I'm sure I'll do a lot of videos. I also do videos on um, my temperate greenhouse, and in that I've got um, some Venus fly traps, Dionia muscopulla. I've got a few Nepenthes. I've got Durosera. I've got uh, Utricularia, uh, Cephalotus, and Eliampora. So that's what you've got to come. So let's crack on today and let me get this uh, screening explained what I use on this greenhouse. Right, uh, I'm back outside now. This is the east side of the greenhouse. Um, as you can see, I've been using this thick, it is actually green, it looks black, but it's a tarpaulin that um, I've used all the way along the east side of the greenhouse and just around the south side. I'm going to change that today because that does keep out the light and the heat, but unfortunately some of these Mazda Valleys like a bit more light than uh, we believe. On the top, I've got... Uh, my shade netting underneath the shade netting if you can see under there I've got shade cloth so I have 40% shade cloth and 40% shade netting now don't worry about what your greenhouse looks like I've used uh, bulldog clips up there look all you need to do is make sure that you protect your greenhouse and your mazes um, and keep this clipped on it will blow off if you don't uh, secure it down but yeah you can see I've just put them all the way across level 
bulldog clips, bulldog clip, bulldog clip. And I'm not bothered about cosmetic, what it looks like. For me, it's what's inside and what I'm growing. So always make sure you've got your shading on. I mean, we're in coming into the second week of May now. So spring is really here and the heat is going to get up. So what I'm going to do over the next couple of days is take this off and put up more shade netting all the way around this green ass. So let me crack on. Well, a few of you have asked me um, what shade netting I use. Um, there's that many on the market. You can make your own decision what you want to use. Um, the stuff I've been using probably won't get again because it came from Spain um, in the EU. So, but I've got a couple of rolls left. But what I use is this. Um, this is the stuff I use. It's quite good. Um, this roll is a a meter. Now you can see that properly. A meter by five meters long. This is for the side of the green net. Um, I've got another one here that I'm hoping, so I've got a bit. Um, this is it packed up. Uh, it does say on there somewhere. Uh, I'm sure you can read that. Hope you can read it, but it's 90% shade cloth. It gives UV protection. It says they're one meter, five meter length, and that's what I've been buying from the EU for a few years now and it's what I've always used I mean on the roof um, I think that roll is uh, four meter width because I've got two meters one side and two meters the other so it goes over the apex of the roof um, the shade cloth underneath I put on from after 2018 can you remember when we had that uh, really hot summer uh, the bit of mini heat wave we had in 2018 I uh, lost a few plants then, so that's why I use double shading on the roof. But yeah, this is definitely good on the side. Um, there's a lot of shade netting out there, you can buy what you want. Um, you know, <laughs> there's the there's another type of shade netting, I think Roger's got some. I know Oliver used to use it on Oliver's greenhouse, it's like got uh, aluminium strips in it. They say that's good, but I'm not sure how much that is. I think it's. Um, quite expensive and you know me I like to do my greenhouse on a budget I like to keep everything cheap on my side now so I can't afford everything but um, so long as it gives protection it's what you want but you certainly don't want to use the um, scaffolding debris netting um, I'll put a couple of pictures up at the side of this while I'm recording now um, one of what it's like when it's open and one when it's actually on the, the structure of a scaffold outside a building um, that'll give you no protection whatsoever but people are buying it because um, if you look on good old eBay they're saying greenhouse shading and if you look at it it's not greenhouse shading it's debris netting like I've said early on this morning it's to prevent stuff falling off the scaffold not to protect your Mazda Valleys or your orchids so if the one of the things you've got to get right as well as everything else is just shade netting. Well, I'm just sitting out here having a cup of tea. Uh, I'm going to crack on now, so I'll go round there and replace this the uh, sheeting that I've got on now, the dark sheeting. I'm going to replace that with um, this, and we'll have a look when I've finished. So I'll finish my tea and see you all in a minute. Right, here it is. I've made a start, as you can see. I've taken the uh, black plastic sheet down. It was actually welding screens. I don't know if you know what welding screens are, but uh, they're used on power plants and that to uh, protect the welders or anybody walking by from the screen. They do have, uh, it was like a green colour. Yeah, I've took that down. So I'm going to get on now, putting the um, new one back on along the, the side. Let's just nip inside and have a look what it 
how bright it makes it without shade netting on. Well, look at the difference. Look how bright it is now inside here. Too bright for these mazzies. Um, but I'm hoping by putting uh, additional shading on, I'm going to allow a little bit of lighting. Well, I'm reducing it by 90%, but a little light so these mazzies get a bit more light than they've had for the last couple of years. So I'll plod on and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I've got the uh, netting on. Not be a second. Well, here we are viewers, it's done. And two weeks later from when I started because we had all that rain for a week. Um, then I had to do some more volunteering. But as you can see now, it's back on the outside of the greenhouse and not bothered about cosmetics look I use the old bulldog clip just keeps it in place it makes it easier for me to take it down in the winter so let's just snip inside and have a look at um, what it looks like and uh, of course you don't need to have um, your shade cloth and netting on the outside if you prefer you can put it on the inside I've put a little piece up here to demonstrate so you can see you can see the clips the more or less the clips that you'd use for um, your bubble wrapping but yeah I've just put a piece up there look to let you have a look at it might give you some ideas I particularly don't like putting it on the inside of the greenhouse but um, I'm sure some of you will if it makes life easier but that's another way to protect your Mazda Valleys or your orchids or any plants that you're growing in your greenhouse um, during the summer months so I thought that I'd, I'd add that on as well just to let you um, have a look okay let's crack on well here we are viewers back in the greenhouse now you can clearly see a lot more light getting through but it's still shaded um, fog is on at the moment so I apologise for the noise that's going to be making but yeah it looks a lot better and it's giving us that little bit more light so I hope you found that useful viewers and you know there's things that we can all do to improve our growing conditions and uh, what we want to do to our greenhouses to make them better but um, I thought I'd share that with you just having a look here I've just realized oh, I've got a slug problem look oh, slippery characters we've had all that rain so they've obviously got back in here and they've been causing me a problem I'll be out tonight to have a look at that um, this one here Beach on it, Angel Frost, got a nice spike up on it. That's actually Inca Prince. I'll show you the plant. It needs repotting as soon as that bloom is Inca Prince. Uh, and that's got a new home, it's going to Roger. He asked me a while ago and I don't like letting people down. Um, so as soon as that's bloomed, I'll get it repotted, I'll box it up and send it to Roger. So Roger, if you're watching this video, it'll be on its way within a couple of weeks. Right, just um, why I'm in the greenhouse and we're having a look round. I keep getting um, emails or messages from YouTube. Now I don't use my channel uh, like a business or a scheme to get me a little more money. I do it because I, it's my hobby. I like growing Mazda Valley orchids, and it's uh, a record for me and how I grow them. And it's also hopefully helping people who are new to Mazda Valleys who want to start with Mazda Valleys. Now they keep telling me that I've got to um, monetize my channel. I don't have to do it, but they're just recommending I do. If I don't, because of my subscribers now, they're going to add um, adverts to the channel. Well. Let me tell you, Mr. YouTube, I don't really want your adverts, but it don't look like there's anything I can do about it. 
so if the adverts are put on my channel um, don't feel obliged to have to watch them um, skip them you know I'm getting no revenue out of it please just skip the adverts I know a lot of people um, probably depend on um, some of the revenue that comes from YouTube but it's moment in time I don't so I don't see why they should be making money out of my um, videos so if they do pop up as I said just skip them no big deal but uh, yeah all looking good in here all looking decent probably get the sun at the back of those and I won't be able to see them very good yeah that's what I wanted to say um, I hope you found the, the video useful if you did give us a thumbs up it don't cost you anything to give us a thumbs up um, leave us a comment you know anything you want me to do in the future uh, whether you want me to do some more repotting or you want me to do some more uh, taking divisions off these mazes let me know in the comments and I will do the video to suit the viewers because like everybody you get um, struck sometimes and you don't know what to do on the next video but if you do want me to do a video let me know what you want to see and I'll put the video together for you um, hopefully it's on Mazda Valleys but if you want it to be on the Penthes I'll do the Penthes if you want it on Venus flytraps I'll do it on that but um, just give us some ideas what you'd really like to see on these videos and if you are new to the channel or new to Mazda Valleys uh, you're starting to grow them or you've got a keen interest in them I did a video a while ago a question and answer video which has um, got some good reviews on it and some good comments and it would be ideal for people to have a look at if you're thinking of uh, growing Mazda Valleys it's like a starter's guide really um, I'll put a link at the end of the video so you can go back and watch it if you want to nobody's saying you've got to go and watch it if you want to watch it you can do um, I think this video today is number 79 in since I've been starting doing videos so if you want to uh, go and have a look at that I'll leave the link at the end and it might help people who want to start out with um, Mazzies I've just picked um, the Dracula up um, look at this got a nice few spikes there two sticking out the top another one on that side another two there another one there and two more around the back a beautiful Dracula I keep it low down now like I said before it's had all the light it's going to get this year when it was in the um, apex of the roof but now it's back down well that's about it viewers sorry it took a fortnight to knock out one video but you know the weather hasn't been with us it's been actually terrible here I'm sure it's been terrible everywhere so until next time viewers thank you very much for watching um, please share it if you want to share it on um, YouTube or you want to share it on Facebook groups but until next time, bye for now, see you on the next one. Thank you.